and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with Stock Swoosh, and I'm coming to you today because I wanted to share something with you. Uh, for those of you that know, I own the Stock Swoosh. I have a business, and I have a fax number. Sometimes in my fax number, I get incorrect faxes. In fact, sometimes I've received resumes from people, which is kind of funny. I received a resume last year, it was in December, from someone looking for a job as a trucker, which was really funny. So, you know, sometimes you send a fax and you might have the wrong number on it, and I end up getting sometimes these incorrect faxes. But it was really interesting because on Friday, I got a fax. I'm not going to tell you the company I got it from. It was clearly a company that was a, a manufacturer, producer, a, a production company, and it was clearly meant for a supermarket uh, that was selling food. And so they sent it to the wrong number. But I'm going to read it to you, and then I'm going to make a point. It says, to all of our value customers, effective February 7th, 2022, green peas will be subject to a seven cents a pound increase. <laughs> the reason for this price increase is related to the ocean freight crisis. We will continue to monitor the situation and advise when we can adjust the prices in the future. Now, what do you get from that? Well, first of all, that there's an ocean freight crisis. Now, if you've been watching the news and you've been following this, a lot of news outlets have been trying to spin that there isn't a crisis, it's under control, there isn't any problems, things are going fine. If you're a consumer, you know that if you've gone into the store that there are shelves in grocery stores and regular stores that sell other products that the shelves are empty or certain things aren't there. Not that every shelf is empty, not that any there's nothing there, but that there are certain items that it's difficult to get. And also, you know, if you buy food for yourself, that you know the cost of food has gone up. And so what I find very interesting is, again, you know, I received that to, to my facts. It was not meant for me, but it just confirmed that, you know, in fact, there is an ocean freight crisis. And that's the first time that I really ever saw it in paper. And of course, this is companies to companies. They already know this. But the news doesn't really want to cover this. And they want to make it spin like, oh, things are getting better. Things are getting better. Things are going to improve. You know, price is going to go down. I haven't seen that so far in food. And they're also saying that the cost of the rising inflation is like around 6%. That's absolutely not the case either. I've noticed some things that I've gone to buy that, that I want, so I buy them, that have increased 50%. I've noticed some things that have increased 100%. 100% increase in some food items that I bought in the last 12 months compared to now. So it's really something. Again, Grocery stores, producers, manufacturers, they must be having a heck of a time keeping up with, uh, with the constant, constant changing in prices. I mean, you know, and again, there's, when, you're, when, you, when you're selling food, I mean, the profit margin is really tight. It's really, really tight. It's not like when you go and you're buying, you know, a designer shoe or something like that. Like I like to buy shoes and clothing. I mean, the profit, which is with clothing, a retail has huge, huge markups. Um, if you didn't know that, now you know that. Uh, but food does not, food does not. So it's very interesting. And again, I just, it was happenstance that I happened to get that. So they called it an ocean freight crisis. So again, if you're a consumer and you've gone to the store, you know that there's a problem. You absolutely know that. That was just more confirmation of in fact, in the first time I heard anyone call it an ocean freight crisis. So there are ships out in port that have not delivered and that are sitting and then you know you of course you have waste you have waste and part of it is the precautions with covid where where you, you have the quarantine delay part of it is of course there's still too many people out of work high employment unemployment numbers we still need more people to get to act to work we still have too many job openings so i mean this is compounding all of these situations and of course the mandates as well so i'm against the mandates because i think it's halting production and the economy and affecting everywhere and it really is affecting new york i'm living in one of those places where it is really really almost having a stronghold like where it's sucking the life out of new york city so I don't know where it leads, and I don't know where the future holds for what's going on or when things are going to get better. But at this point now, since they're not getting better yet with inflation or the cost of rising prices or goods or the supply chain, you can't really predict when it's going to get better. It's like trying to predict a stock or the market and saying, well, the market's going to make a new high by Monday. Well, what would make you say that? Nothing. Nothing at all at this point. Certainly not after the sell-off that we've had since the start to the year. 
So anyways, little thing I just thought I'd share with everyone today, really interesting. And again, sometimes I get wrong faxes um, and, I, and I didn't want to tell you the company, but I did want to tell you that they called it an ocean freight crisis, which it absolutely is. Have a great day, everyone.